Hey, Shalom, Brother Arah coming to you with another video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honor city apostles, bishops, elders, a great millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible. Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those are the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. And uh, I want to entitle this lesson, um, Hard Dose of Reality. These people are going to face a hard dose of reality. You know, um, when the scriptures say destruction cometh and they shall seek peace, which I'm about to get right now. Let me get it right quick. OK. We understand that. Like this whole snowball effect of all these. You know, milestones that Esau is implementing, really, the Lord is putting these um, milestones in place and eventually the Lord is going to give Esau the green light to make a move. Right. Physically make a move and, you know, crash the economy and, you know, however the Lord does it in details, it's going to get really bad for these people, man. Ezekiel 7 and 25 says destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. Peace is not reality. Not in these times. It's a it's a facade. It's fake. All the smoke and mirrors, you know, the different entertainment and things that got going on that's blinding the people. Drama, you know, these celebrities getting in the shit and people are talking about it. Meanwhile, Esau's behind the scenes, you know, pushing legislation, you know, laws in play, draconian measures to bring forth destruction. <laughs> the Lord said this man is going to be. You know, it's his sword that he's going to use as a whipping stick to you rebellious Israelites. And I'm going to prove what I just said through the spirit. Psalm 17 and 13 says, arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Now, we always mention who is the wicked? The wicked are the Edomites, Malachi 1 and 4. OK, it says, which is thy sword? OK. So the Lord is going to use the wicked as his sword in which we've seen him take peace from the earth throughout history. He, this man has taken peace from the earth. Now he gets a chance to showcase his wickedness on a whole nother level. His technology is advanced. You know, he's been given the power ultimately from the Lord to do his last thing before he goes out, before he's taken down. When you go into the word sword, it says tools for cutting stone knife. It says a cutting instrument. Um, it says dagger, all these different, you know, sharp instruments you think of. The Lord is going to use this man to cut down you wicked ass Israelites, man. The mockers who've been mocking them in the Lord and the scripture says they misuse the prophets. So when the Lord, matter of fact, let me get. um, um Let me see is a scripture I want to get here and it's in Jeremiah. Let me see if I can get it because you mocking us, but you ain't ready to get a, You get ready to get a taste of hard reality very soon. Because I was thinking about the video that um, Elder Manata Zabot was doing about, you know, um, you know, you got Jake out here, you know, mocking the Israelites, thinking this shit's funny. You know, the men on the Lord who put their life online, the Lord got us putting his, put our life online. And, and this is the response of these people. Disrespectful. I'm going to bring a couple of scriptures. I'm going to close out. Um, just want to do something quick. But Jeremiah uh, 15 and 2, it says, And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death, and such are such as are for the sword to the sword. Esau, about to get busy on you, you Jakes, man. You hard-headed ass two-thirds. Okay, it says, To the sword, uh, as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, a lot of people going to starve out. OK, this is what's going to catch up to these people. A hard dose of reality that they cannot escape. And it's the last one I'm bring out, too. That's the spirit. It says it says as such as are for captivity to captivity. Uh, all this mocking and scoffing. The Lord going to throw your ass in a concentration camp. And Esau is going to have his way with you rebellious ass Israelites. Last one here.
There we go. Jeremiah 11, 11. Therefore, thus said the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. That's reality, man. We're in that time. So the Lord is bringing evil. He controls good and evil. And the Lord said he's bringing uh, uh, war in these times, evils. It says here now. I always say it's here now. So it says, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. There's no back door to getting out of destruction. There's no secret hiding place unless you're part of the elect because the hiding place is his word protection um, from Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai and that's only for the elect the Lord ain't saving everybody this time man. all the Israelites this time only only um the, that elect is going to be uh protected it says and though they shall cry unto me I will not hearken unto them so the Lord is not going to take heed and listen to the the begging the pleading the fears, your cries, your remorsing, you're going to seek the Lord, but it's going to be too late. The Lord's going to ignore the shit out of a lot of you Israelites who've been talking pure cash shit, man. You know, a hard dose of reality is coming to all you prideful people of this world who have been treating, you know, those who are trying to be humble like shit, man. All we got to do is wait things out. Everything's being set back in order. And uh, Apostle Gabar um, did a beautiful lesson uh, with the Bishop Sakharam. It was very beautiful, man. He said, yo, you know, those who believe in this truth at this point in time, we very well could be a part of the elect, Lord willing. That was so encouraging to hear it from those men. To hear that from those men, that's, that was an exhortation through the spirit, man. And that's his page. You know, daily edification and exhortation. I was uplifted when I heard that. Same thing goes for those of you who believe in the gospel, man, that's listening to this video. Uh, everything's being set back in order. Just suffer through the things for now that we got to go through, man. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash. Shalom.